What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday, Crypto FUD. Let's jump right into this one. All right, so Dog Elon, a lot's going on right now. So much going on in the market. Not so much with Dog Elon, but we'll make sure to give some quick updates. I do want to address the elephant in the room real fast. Uh, USDC, obviously, we all know it deep pegged yesterday. If you're asking what does that technically mean, it looks like. So technically, when a stable coin depegs itself, it's supposed to be at about a dollar. Basically, it's pegged to the U.S. dollar. But when sometimes bad things happen, like massive sell-off on the USDC, it can take it from its stable coin. And it, yesterday, that's what happened. The chart on here says it was it got down to ninety-five cents, which is technically it did drop down to I believe eighty-eight cents, if I'm not mistaken, exactly. 95 cents wouldn't even be a big worry. I've seen that happen a couple times, but 88 cents is a big deal. That's a very big deep hegging from the dollar. Um, right now, it's back up to 99.3 cents. So I feel like, you know, USDC is possibly rebounding and it's going to get back to that $1 mark. It will sometimes bounce at around 99 cents, which is no problem whatsoever. So just wanted to bring that up. I know there's so much FUD right now. There's so many videos out about the depegging of the USDC. A lot of them are from yesterday. And, you know, at the time it was like down to 80 something cents. And that is very worrisome. So nevertheless, it is at 99 cents. So we'll move on from there. Hopefully, um, you know, we won't see anything like that. But I, me personally, if you ask, what do I think happened? I think USDC is under attack. I really do. Um, I think that there's uh, forces, a bond, a uh, forces above basically beyond our control that are uh, basically attacking not just USDC, but crypto right now. So because they see it was rebounding, you go back a month ago, we were back on our way up and everything's really been just not doing the best. And I think it's, it has to do with a lot of attacks from forces above. We'll just leave it like that for right now. So back, I'll end my rant, but back to uh, dog Elon and I just pointed out because you guys, we have to make sure we're focusing on everything that's going on in the market. Bitcoin right now is 20,800. So we are seeing a nice little move up with Bitcoin. Hopefully we can get back up past 21,000. That'll be awesome. If you guys saw, there was a video I posted not too long ago about, um, it was on one of my videos, but I went over to the, the uh, Bitcoin chart real quick and showed that Bitcoin actually bounced off the 200 day moving average. And I bring this up because if you look this green line right here, this is the 200 day moving average for uh, dog Elon. And look what we did. We literally bounced off of the 200 a few times. That's awesome. That's, you know, in my eyes, as long as we can bounce and stay above the 200 day moving average, that's pretty bullish in my eyes. I know we've been beat down in the last few weeks. You know, it is what it is. The market itself has been beat down. It has nothing to do with dog Elon. Everything's still there with dog Elon. You know, as far as the future of this project and stuff like that, the the, the community, you know, so strong. So it has everything, the fundamentals. I think they're going to build it and they're going to they're going to get there as far as, you know, being a competitive uh, getting out of that meme coin kind of, uh, you know, realm. But what I'm getting to is everything, you know, is still in play for dog Elon. You know, we bounce off this 200 day, which the 200 days pretty much at thirty one fifty. We're currently at 32.15, so we're not you know, out of the woods yet. We might retest it a couple times. Like I've always said, we don't want to keep testing that point because eventually it will break. But I, I honestly, like I've said, you know, we, I, for the last couple of weeks or for the last two weeks, I said, we are going to see some downward movement. It was just, it was the writing was all over the wall for everything, right? Bitcoin surely did it and it brought everything else down. You know, um, I don't, like I've said before, I don't see us going back down to these all time or these local lows that we made, you know, uh, like six months ago. But if that was to happen, you know what kind of opportunity that would be for anybody? I mean, that right there, I know it stinks to see your portfolio go down, but the opportunity there that could present itself if it did, you know, if it did go down like that, I mean, that would be, I would go, you know, I'd add, you know, a massive amount in my bag if we were to see something like that. So to get back on track here, right now, like I said, we're sitting at around 32.20, we'll put it at. We are in between the 786 and the 618 on my FIB chart right here. We tested the 618 a couple times when we were on our way down, and it looked like it's, it flipped over to um, resistance. If you see over here, we had some support. We bounced a couple times off the 618. 
now if you see when we try to move pa- uh, move up past the 618 it actually basically stopped us and it's more of a resistance right now so we're pretty much sitting between this 200 day moving average and the 618 we're definitely going to want to at one of these bounces we're going to need to get bounced up and we're going to need to test the 618 and break through it if we want to say bullish i think bitcoin right now like i said sitting at 21,800 20,800 i'm sorry is it's you know a lot better than what we were so i think if we can continue maybe to get bitcoin up past 21,000 dog elon's going to most likely get past the 618 mark and we'll probably sit somewhere around this area until we kind of find out what what's going on with this market but what i'm basically saying is we might see some nice little v kind of uh, uh v moval right here to where we bounce off this 200 day and we might not go straight back up but maybe zigzag a little bit bounce off this 618 a couple and then come somewhere in between the 618 and the in the 0.5 somewhere around 35 to 36 is what i'm calling and i think we're going to most likely you know from there on we're going to get rejected multiple times and we might sit around that little channel other than that as far as going down if we were to look the next level that i have other than the 200 day this is if we break that 200 day moving average obviously we have the 786 which was you know some spots where it kind of consolidated a lot before so that could be a spot if you're looking to maybe jump uh jump in or add to your bag that's around the 298 mark but at the end of the day, what I see as some major support is going to be the 275. 275 is going to be our major support. That's going to be what we want. If we do drop down, that's going to want to be our, our uh, ultimate low. We don't want to drop anything under under than that. Then, then we'll basically be talking about those local lows that we already hit. Back down um, somewhere around the 2-3. That's where you know we'll be looking at if we do break the 2-5 or the 2-7 mark. But other than that, you know, like I said, everything's been, you know, with, with the whole market hasn't been doing the best, but you know, this is an opportunity to maybe add to your bag or possibly jump into the project if you're waiting on the sidelines. Other than that, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Again, we're bouncing off that 200 day, which is still awesome about at the 315. We need to get back up to the 618 and test it and break it. And that's going to be at the 35 mark. Other than that, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel so you can get instant alerts. I'll come out with them daily. Thank you.